Hello, this is Brian Scuttle with Sonic Sim. Uh, I'm doing my first quick take in a good long while. I just haven't really had anything pop into mind as far as wanting to do one. But this one is, uh, decided I'd go ahead and do one on the uh, John Wick th Chapter 3 Parabellum, which I just got out of. And it's funny because I've actually seen all three John Wick movies for the first time in the past week. Uh, the, I saw the first one on Friday, saw the next one on Monday, and I watched Parabellum tonight at one of the uh, first shows that we have my theater. And it's, it's, I love the first one. It's very short, quick, to the point. The action's cut exceptionally well. The story is simple. The story just moves like a bullet. Keanu Reeves is, it's the type of character that Keanu Reeves does really well. Where there may not be a whole lot of emotional depth, but there's a lot of depth of purpose. And I think that's the type of role that Reeves really excels in. Especially if you look at the Matrix movies and Speed. His best moments are when it comes to his characters behaving with purpose and without, even if there's not a whole lot of depth there emotionally. And I, I think that's one of the things that's really great about the character of John Wick for him in that it really plays to his strengths exceptionally well. And the action is fantastic. Uh, the first one is probably still my favorite, although Parabellum is up there. Uh, the second one, I thought the action went on a little too long. And I think, especially near the end of Parabellum, there's an action sequence that really uh, kind of slows the movie to a halt um, when it should be getting ready to wrap up. But it's still a really solid, strong action movie. Um, I love the beginning of this movie. I love the way it starts. I love the ticking clock. It starts right when the second one ended. And you just get this feeling of engagement right away. The action is brutal and awesome to watch. It's so well shot, so well choreographed. You can tell a stuntman is in charge of these movies as far as action and directing action. And I think that's one of the most important thing. Uh, Ken Reeves having an action sequence on a horse is probably the high water mark for action in this movie. Although there's a fantastic sequence with him and Halle Berry uh, in the middle of the movie that is just as impressive as far as the choreography goes on a little bit longer. And all of the action in this is just... There's a lot of purpose. There's a lot of meaning to it. It's not just gratuitous uh, violence. It's it's something where there's a point in the story as for why this is happening. I'm not sure that I necessarily need a fourth one, but I'll definitely take one because this does set one up. Uh, because, of course, it does. It's an action franchise. That typically is how it is. I would love to see... It's funny because I've now seen like five Keanu Reeves movies in the past two months. And they were all like basically his best known action movies. And uh, it it's given me more of an appreciation for him as an actor. I really am looking to continue to re-watch or watch for the first time a lot of his work that maybe I haven't seen in a while or that I haven't seen it all and um I'm really looking forward to doing that because it's I've got a lot more of appreciation for him as a performer re-watching some of these movies or watch in the case of the John Wick movies watching him for the first time and uh Ian McShane is <clears throat> is probably one of my favorite character actors ever since uh, Paul W.S. Anderson's Death Race is, I think, where I first really recognized him in a movie and, uh, and recognize him as a highlight of any movie he's in or any project that he's in. Um, it does make me kind of watch Deadwood. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that type of 
commitment to a TV show, but it does make me want to watch Deadwood at some point at least to just to watch him because he's fantastic. Um, I'll, I'll have my print review in the next couple of days, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, for now, though, that's uh, me talking about John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum and really all of the John Wick movies. Uh, this is Brian Scuttle. Thank you for following me on Sonic Cinema and the Sonic Cinema podcast. I've got more coming up. I've got another class of 1999 coming up in the next week or so. And thank you very much.